Hey Capricorn, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your Love and Light reading. So let's get started with an Angels of Atlantis card or two. Let's see what we have for Capricorn. Holy Spirit, show me clearly. We have Zafkil's Surrender. Oh, I don't know if I've gotten that one before. Let's get one more. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn? And we have Uriel, Abundance. Okay. So let's start with Zafkil. And if I'm mispronouncing it, please forgive me. All right. So it says, the angels want you to know that you are holding too tightly to a part of your life and that you need to relinquish that hold. Trust that healing will swiftly come for it always does. Resistance only intensifies the aspect of life that we are holding on to, whether this be a relationship, our career, or our health. Zafkil wants you to surrender to heaven and let the angels carry you. This lover angel wants you to learn how you may release all notion of control substituting such action with a yielding to the management of life. It is an illusion that any part of life may be controlled by predetermining the outcome. Let go and let God in. Remember, everything that you surrender will be placed, will be replaced by something better, thus allowing miracles to fully happen. Chant Ha to allow your groundedness to be vib vibrationally open. And sorry if I stumble a little bit on the words I forgot my glasses okay so Uriel well that was beautiful a beautiful surrender Uriel abundance the tree of life brings abundant flow into your life at this very moment and this is why you have singularly chosen Uriel's or oracle of abundance the core of all abundance is the source when you totally believe in the flow of this divine nectar the bounty of god is responding in like measure develop the muscle of your faith by the positive regard of all your amazing achievements fill your life with gratitude for the abundance you are receiving and speak chant i am infinitely abundant in spirit i have plenty of wealth and my riches increase every day all right. So I feel like it's all about letting go of an attitude towards your abundance. And then that's going to create the abundance, right? So let's get a uh, Sacred Sea Oracle as well. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn? What else do we have for Capricorn? And we have Sacred Burial Temple. I forget who else got this. Embrace Transition. So I feel like um, there's a transition that will happen. The surrender and then the abundance. But let's see what this book says. And that is number six. Yeah, somebody got that because this was kind of folded to that page. I can't remember who it was. All right, so there is an affirmation that says, I know I can connect to my loved ones who have passed at any moment, and I can feel the thin veil of reality easily, as this makes the reality of my life more precious and rare. I celebrate my ancestors who made it possible for my freedom within this lifetime, and I am devoted to living the most full and vibrant life possible. The sacred message is the sacred burial temple is the sacred site for your deceased loved ones to be celebrated, honored, and remembered, even your own past selves. The temple exists in the deepest part of the sea, and you can access this sacred space only through your meditations and visions. In this temple, you can deeply embrace the transition from life to death, while welcoming the new life that this old one has blessed you with. You hold the energy of your ancestors here to enrich and enliven your present, to make peace with where you are going. To remain close to the sacred souls that have passed, energetically connect to them for guidance in this current reality, which you can more easily do through the sacred sea ritual below. But I'm not going to go into that. Um, 
But what I'm getting here is this is about some type of ancestral, it's not a curse, it's like a, a payback. It's like there was so much surrender and sacrifice done by your ancestors to allow you to even participate in life right now. And it's almost like that you're here to kind of redeem all of that and like make it all worth it. You're going to be the one that gets the riches and glory for whatever that means for your family line. So let's see how this is playing out for you, Capricorn. Whoa, that one wanted to come out. This is past energy, five of cups. So they've, there's been a lot of sorrow. And so I feel like you may be looking at an inheritance of some sort, but I really feel like this is a spiritual um, inheritance and a redemption that you're going to receive. So it's almost like seeing the, allowing yourself to see the grief, surrender, let go of the grief part of losing past on loved ones and understand what they've gone through in order for you to have life and in order for you to be where you are right at this moment. So what is the current energy for Capricorn? And we have the magician. Yeah, I feel like you're just, you're, it's like everything has been lined up on this table and you're going to be the creator, the redeemer of all, of all in your life, you know, and, and it's going to be a reflection of everything that your ancestors went through to get you here today. So you're going to be like, they're going to be cheering you in the ethers because this is something that's been worked for, for many generations. The challenge is the star. So I feel like this is your own faith and understanding of the bigger picture, the higher perspective. It's like um, you don't understand why you go through um, tests and lessons when it comes to your abundance. But you always seem to come back and just know, give credit to the ancestors because they are orchestrating things on your behalf. What is the advice here? And we have the emperor take charge. And get what's yours, get what they have coming. Here we have three major arcana out of four already. So this is like take charge and lead. And you are, you know, it's like your lineage has led you to this point. And this is the outcome. Jumped out. Wow. Will of fortune right there under that abundance. Four major arcana. This is a big, huge time for you. The bottom of the deck is the tower. And I feel like this is divine intervention, your ancestors, these archangels, the creator all coming together to make huge explosive changes in your life. That's what I'm getting. Wow. Let's clarify. Why is this five of cups here? What is this five cups about? And we have the knight of pentacles. So I feel like, you know, there, this is like. You're, I'm getting this is like your guardian angel, but it's almost like somebody that passed on um, has become your guardian angel or part of your spirit team. And I just feel like they have been peacefully um, taking barriers out of your way to for this to go down. What is this magician here for? Three of Cups. Yes, they all are going to be cheering you on. I mean, this is the support of those that are just as invested as you in your success. And that is something that is so hard to come by. You know, it's like, even within families, people are competitive with each other. Even within couples, it's like, um, you know, no one, you know, one person makes more money than the other. And it's a, it's a source of contention, you know? So what is this star energy? Why is this a challenge for Capricorn? And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So it's like, yeah, you don't understand the divine timing. You don't understand. And it's like, I hope by this reading that it's something's clicking into place so that you understand the bigger picture and your role in it. 
So it's like, in some ways it can make you feel very small, but in other ways, there's so much writing on your shoulders. And then, then we have this emperor here. Why is this emperor here as the advice? And we have the lovers. I mean, we just can't get enough major arcana here, can we? We have Will of Fortune twice. So the lovers, this is, you know, it's like um, part of the soul contract that you have. And you, you may have a divine partnership, but I feel like this is all about you. So where's this Will of Fortune? Why is this the outcome? Show us clearly. And we have the Page of Pentacles. This is going to make you feel like a child again. Like you're just not going to be able to deny the magic. Look at that. The fairies. The, it's just so magical. I'm going to go ahead and clarify this tower as well. Just put it here. Why is this tower here? And right under that we have the Two of Cups. So I definitely see that there is a divine partnership that's involved in all of this. And we have the Knight of Swords. So this is something that is like a wave that's going to come quickly. And there's nothing um, too good to be true about it. I mean, it feels too good to be true, but it's true. That sort of truth is standing tall. Wow. All righty. Let's get some guidance for this reading. This is really good, really good. What guidance, Holy Spirit, what guidance do we have for Capricorn? Move. Barnacles only grow on a docked ship. So I feel like this is about taking action and understanding your role, listening to the guidance of your ancestors. Anchor. Keep yourself grounded. That doesn't mean stay still. That means keep yourself connected to earth. You know, um, not floating in the ethers. There's something that's going to manifest in the physical, in the 3D. And we have determination. Don't be afraid of the rising tide. It will soon recede. So there will always, right before something major, um, majorly positive goes down, there is always a negative something that tries to block you from it. And don't just keep on running, jump over it. I mean, it's like, I'm just picturing like uh, some kind of obstacle course and it's like, you, you're right there, you're right there. Okay, one last card. And we have protection. Keep some aquamarine close. Mermaid's tears have been known to create these precious gems. And aquamarine is the uh, birthstone for March. So this could be a Pisces or an Aries if it's a person. But otherwise, they're suggesting aquamarine. So, um, But it, it's also a sign that you are protected. And this is your ancestral protection. So those are the messages that came through for your Capricorn, if I can speak. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.